Today we're going to be looking at a few key factors that may make your mini Segway catch on fire. First off, we're going to open these three mini Segways up because that's really the best way you can tell um, if these are going to catch fire. So we're going to open the bottom parts up on all three of these. These are all from different Chinese manufacturers. Future Boards right here is the um, best one, the most expensive of these three. You can find the link to buy the Future Board in the description below. But we're going to be seeing if this high quality one um, is really um, the same as these two lower quality ones. If you choose to buy the Future Board, um, you can go to their website, which is futureboardsusa.com and use promo code PYROTRONE to save $25. So let's open these three up. All right, so now that we have all three open, there are a couple of things you can notice. First off, it looks like all three batteries are different. That is something we're going to be looking at. If you look at the parts that go over the wheel, this piece right here, I've done a video on just this piece before. You can see them right here. Um, we're gonna be checking out um, the different, what the different colors mean and what you should be looking out for. The other things we wanna take note of are um, the cable management and the placement of some of the different uh, circuit boards and how close it is to the battery. So first off, we're gonna start over here on the blue one. Um, you can see right here, it is a Samsung battery. That's a good sign. Um, cables look fairly organized. You don't want them to just be slopped in there. Um, they look like nice strong connections. And so let's talk about these boards right here. Uh, if these circuit board things that go over or right over where the pads go. Um, it controls like the balance and when the motors go. If this is a green color or a blue color, which actually if we open this one up, all right, so if you check out this um, board over here, this Segway originally came with this green board and then the replacement I got was a blue one. So. Um, if your board is green or blue, it doesn't really matter. They're all um, very high quality, well-made boards. What you wanna look out for is if it's yellow. If it's yellow, that means it's like a copy. It's not um, one of the original made ones. And that's something you're not gonna be able to see if it's just the outside shell because all of the shells and wheels and stuff like that look almost identical across all of these boards. Um, and so you're really gonna have to open it up check, make sure it's some sort of Samsung battery or other high quality one. Um, and then uh, you wanna look at your circuit boards also over here. If this circuit board is green or blue, um, it's very good if that is yellow. That's a big sign that it's a cheap knockoff um, made in a factory that's not well known, does not have official approval. Um, whereas the green or the blue ones um, are higher quality. So now moving on to our segue over here, we've got a blue board. That's um, a good thing to see over here. The battery, I don't see, it doesn't say it's Samsung. Uh, it says Haiyuan Power. So you can maybe look up this Haiyuan Power. Um, it looks like the exact same size, 36 volt. This one also is 36 volt. Um, because these are 36 volt motors on the end. So it looks like it's probably a good battery. It does not say Samsung. Um, that may be a bit of a concern there. Why don't we also open up the other side of this uh, mini segue as well. All right, so now we have this side opened. Um, as you can see, it's also the blue circuit board over here with these also blue. That's a good sign. Um, cable management looks okay, a little sketchy there. It could have been neater. They did use zip ties, which is good. Um, I believe this one is supposed to be a Bluetooth with a microphone, or not a microphone, a uh, speaker. I, there's no large speaker in here. Like I'm comparing these two and their boards look identical. So this is supposed to be Bluetooth with a speaker and there is no speaker here unless it's super super small i'm also noticing that uh when i took out the screws on here they were not as tight as this one and this one 
um, which could be a sign that it's not as well put together. And this um, battery here does not say Samsung, such as this one over here. So this one looks good, but, um, and I'm sure it's not going to catch on fire. And I know that because these circuit boards, um, when you're charging or riding them for a long time will get pretty hot. And some of these different pieces over here are gonna get really hot. And if you have those sitting right up next to the battery, that's when you have a problem. The battery either explodes or it's gonna catch on fire as we've seen in a lot of funny videos. Funny but sad. We wanna make sure that this um, design here where you have the battery on one side and all the electronics on the other, um, that's what you want to see so if you have the battery right up next to the circuit boards and they're yellow, that's going to be a pretty uh, big red flag. But what are you going to be able to do with that? I mean, you're not, you're not going to be able to fix that. You can um, buy replacement parts, um, but it's going to be very costly to have to rewire everything um, with these higher quality circuit boards. I'm not sure what you're going to have to do. Um, I'm just trying to inform you what a board that may catch on fire would look like on the inside because that's really the only way you're gonna figure out if your board has the possibility of catching fire. So over here, we're gonna also um, open up this side. The one thing that the future board has, which is on this side, the, the one thing that this has that none of the other ones have is a warning label on the bottom. None of the other ones have a warning label and that seems just standard on all of um, our products today, so I don't know why these ones don't have any warning label. There is a warning label on the box. It seems like there should be another, at least small sticker like this on the board itself. For some reason, the uh, screws on here have been quite tight, which is a good thing to see because you don't want uh, this piece falling off. And if this screw's tight, what would uh, prevent one of these screws from also being loose, which could be a problem. So let's look at the battery here. So it is a Sony battery, um, not a Samsung battery, which is interesting to see. I don't think that's a problem. Uh, it looks pretty good. 36 volt, which should uh, go well with the 36 motors. Motors and wheels on all of these should be uh, pretty much the exact same. Green board, green board, green board, all good. No yellow, you don't wanna see yellow. Um, this is a nice uh, cable management thingy that these two have, this little sleeve. This one does not have, you can see, it's a little messy in here. It's got nice zip tied things to keep everything nice and organized so you don't have this problem. This one um, is just looks better. Funny how on, so all three boards, all three of these boards are from different sort of companies, but if you look at each of the designs, they're all identical, so not sure what's going on over there in China. So I'd say that the uh, future board um, definitely has the best cable management, has a pretty good battery in there, um, and the green boards, which is good. Green is good, blue is good, yellow is a big red flag that it's a copy and it could, in theory, catch on fire, but that's not, that's not terribly likely. If any of your um, big electronic pieces are by the battery, that's a problem. Not if it's just um, this piece here, but um, if it's like one of these larger boards, um, if that's by the battery, and if it doesn't look like it's set up in this configuration, that could be a red flag, but um, if you wanna send me um, any of your pictures like this, I can tell you if that could be a problem with the placement. So I hope this breakdown of these three mini segways was helpful. We don't have any um, ones that would cause a problem here, which is good to see. Um, I've told you the factors that would cause um, some concern. If you have those, um, I would probably contact the seller. I'm not sure what else you can do um, to see if you can return it. I know with some companies, if you open them up, it voids the warranty, but as you can see right here, it's just like nine screws on each side, and you can just open up the top, and if you don't touch any of these parts, um, you're not gonna really break anything any more than it is, so who knows. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I know in a few instances of these mini segways catching on fire, after the fire stopped, uh, the people opened it up and found 
duct tape and stuff like that. So if you find any duct tape inside your mini Segway duct taping the uh, wires together or in place, that is something that is a big, big red flag. And I would suggest not writing your mini Segway until you talk with the company that you purchased it from. There's a few things you can do just to prevent a fire from happening, even if you have a very good board. Um, don't leave it charging um, for more than like two hours unattended. Um, that can cause issues. I would suggest not writing it for more than an hour straight. Um, if you're just standing or not moving very fast, um, that's fine. But if you're like going full speed for an hour straight, that could cause the battery to get hot um, and potentially catch on fire even if it is a well-known battery. You definitely don't want to ride this in the rain if it's slightly misting that's okay because they have a pretty watertight shell but it's definitely not fit for very rainy weather because the water can go inside the electronics and cause a fire that way. If you notice that one of the motors or sides of the board is starting to become very hot or even smoking, you want to make sure that you get off the board as quickly as possible. And if you have water on hand, that may be a good idea, but it is usually not a good idea to put water on an electrical fire because that doesn't really help. But if something like the plastic is burning or one of the other pieces are burning, um, then maybe water is a good choice. If you have any other issues like I had where one of the sides just stopped working, um, it is fine to ride it um, even if it's just like not working correctly, but it's really not a good thing because you can damage it in the long run and that would not be a good thing. So you wanna make sure that your mini Segway is in good health when you ride it because if it's um, if one of the motors is starting to slow down or not catching up or making a loud sound, that is something you want to get checked out. I'll leave a link in the description of a good place where you can find um, replacement parts and they actually are able to diagnose your problem just like through email or even the direct messages on Instagram. They are a really great company um, and they'll give you lots of help if you have a broken mini Segway or hoverboard. A couple other tips I learned is that if your Segway is over like $500, it's naturally probably gonna be um, a high quality one like what we have here. It's going to have a nice battery and nice um, circuit boards and good wiring and all that stuff. Just because if they're charging that much, it's most likely going to be a higher quality one and that's the issue with buying them on Amazon because you really want to find the one with the lowest price but the thing is it's not gonna be high quality like you see right here. Futureboardsusa.com is probably my most trusted mini Segway seller because they sell not the thousand dollar ones which probably aren't going to catch on fire but they're not gonna be those cheap ones that are definitely have a high chance of catching on fire. So they're right in the middle. So you're not gonna be getting a low quality one that you could find on uh, some sketchy Chinese websites or Amazon has a few under $300. So if you're getting one that's like $200, definitely make sure to open them up like I did here. Because if you see any of those red flags, that's a sign that your mini Segway could, in theory, catch on fire. I've heard a few people say that these explode and um, I've never seen that. I've only seen video and pictures of them on fire. Um, it is possible for lithium batteries to explode, but it's much more likely for them to just catch on fire from overheating. I cannot guarantee that any of these boards here will not catch on fire, but I'm just giving you some tips on what I've seen from other videos and heard from other people what sometimes causes these boards to catch on fire. One other thing that you should look out for is what kind of battery charger you got with your mini Segway. Over on this end, we have the future boards. Right here, we have got the one Chinese one and then the other Chinese one. So if you look at the back, you wanna make sure that you have the correct um, input and output uh, for what you're using. You wanna make sure it's FCC and CE certified. Make sure that it looks credible because if it's all in Chinese, that's probably an issue. 
You also want to make sure that it um, is of good quality because this one right here is pretty light as well as this other Chinese one. This one's a little bit bigger, um, which is probably better in this case. Bigger is better because if you have a very small one, um, that probably means that all the electronics are crammed in there just to save space, which is not something you really want with the converter. Um, but you can see we have the same power charger information on the back right here. Um, this one is okay, but it is light. So what I mean by light is if you pick up the Future Boards one, um, it's quite a bit heavier and you can feel the um, electronics in the converter are heavier, which is going to be better in this case. You can also notice that the cables here are of a higher grade, um, so they're thicker, um, which is good. And as well, they have all the information on the back over here, FCC and CE certified. If you ever notice that you're charging power brick or the cables or the um, part where it connects to your mini segue, if you ever notice that that's getting hot during charging, you wanna make sure to unplug it right away and leave it sitting so it can cool down. If this overheats, that could cause a fire on its own. Thank you for watching. Now I'm gonna go clean all this up.